You know, a lot of people are watching Hurricane Ian tonight. Want to give you a look at the wind and rain that it caused as it moved near the Cayman Islands earlier today. My goodness, you can see it there. Yeah, it's on track to be a major hurricane when it hits Florida this week, and the entire state is under a state of emergency as they get ready for it to hit. Mandatory evacuations are already underway in parts of Tampa, and people everywhere are stocking up on the essentials as they get ready to lose power in the storm. Here and it's kind of insane that there's no water here. Ian's projected to reach Category 4 strength as it turns over the warm waters of the Gulf. However, forecasters still aren't sure exactly where it will hit. I know we hear a lot about the cone of uncertainty, so want to kind of get some info from Kelly. What are you seeing as far as exactly where it could go? Because so many people have family, friends down there. That's right. right. Well, lately it just has started to take that north-northeast turn as okay. well, so that helps get a little closer every time we have an update. The hurricane hunters are in there, and they're looking at the hurricane, seeing that pressure drop, the winds increase, and then we have that issue with it. Once it does hit uh, landfall, it becomes a major hurricane, and that's what it looks like it will be. It's on track for that. Here's the latest on Ian. It is is at a category one hurricane, 100 mile per hour winds, and the pressure has dropped to 972. Excuse me, that's uh, hurricane category two at this hour, and that just came out at 5 p.m. This is predicted to go off to the north northwest as a hurricane three over the western portion of Cuba, then take a turn to the north northeast by Wednesday morning. Once it hits the very warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, it's likely going to become a category four with 140 mile per hour winds, and then eventually making it into the western portion of Florida sometime early Thursday morning and then into Thursday afternoon hitting that Tampa Bay area then eventually taking a turn off to the north. We may see some clouds maybe some rain out of it but here locally we have an upper level low that's spinning over us 